Hey loves. So I'm here guys to do the reading for cancer. This is going to be for cancer. All health placements. All right. If the messages here are resonating, I want you to take a movie cross watchers. You are welcome. This is Red from Cancer's point of view. However, all right, y'all. And I thank you all for your likes, shares, and subscribes. If you enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up, guys. All right, let's get into the messages for cancer. What messages do we have for my cancers? Let's see here. Messages for cancer. Okay. Oh, no. We, we, okay. All right. <clears throat> we got the Three of Wands, the Four of Cups, Temperance. Hmm. All right. Three of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles. Seventeen. All right, Cancer. Um, a lot of you, uh, if you've been dealing with some regret, so I don't know. I don't, this makes me feel like regret for some choices that were made or the way that some things worked out. Um, I also get a sense of that some of you could be waiting. You could be waiting on something or feeling as if like you've been waiting a very long time for something to happen or take place. The stability is coming. Like whatever this is, is working out. All right. Um, there has been slow progress, but I feel like it's going to be stable. All right. So whatever this is that you're waiting for, for all of you, it's going to be something different. I don't know if um we you could oh, be overlooking something as well, Cancer. So it be it may be like a unnecessary feeling of regret. Like the only you, you go over shit with a fine tooth comb because I feel like the only reason you could be feeling regret or feeling like you've been waiting a long time for something to come in is because you have you missed something or like uh you need to just like do a clean sweep again go through whatever this is again cancer because I really feel like you can find what it is that you've been searching for I promise you I really do um something's being overlooked there's some detail that's being overlooked um, and there's a need to view the cup half full, not half empty. Okay. So viewing your glass half full, not half empty. Tell me more about the four of cups for cancer. Yeah. The high priestess. So there's something that you're there. You got to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. They're trying to give you signs and synchronicities on something with the magician and the six of swords, how to come out of a hard time. Something stabilizes and it stabilizes big time for you, cancer. You have everything that you need, baby. You got everything you need. But for some reason, you feel like you're lacking something. What is this pertaining to, Tona? I don't know because for all of you, it's going to be something different. So take it as it resonates. Love, life, work, family, friendship, whatever this is, all right? Something stabilizing. There's a need to recognize that the stability comes in. It has something to do with who you're working with or how you're working on something with other people. All right. It could also come from the belief that you need to work with other people. Look at this. The King of Wands is in the reverse. So let me tell you something. There's a need to move from energies who look the part and talk the part. Moving towards energies that are actually doing, moving, making progress. Okay, so there's something about dealing with people with stagnated thought processes or people who are not truly doing the work. People who are, they just look the part. They talk the talk and they look the part. They haven't done the work. They haven't been through something, all right? Um, so these might be the most biggest boastful people around you. You could be believing in what they're saying, baby. They haven't done no work. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. All right? They haven't been through anything. They haven't had to work through anything. I feel like you could, uh, whoever this is, and, and especially if this is a relationship, okay? This is somebody who's lying. This is somebody who's presenting themselves to you as someone who is worthy or ready for a relationship, ready for a connection. Somebody 
presents themselves or a situation presents itself as willing, ready, willing and ready. And that's not the case at the fuck all. The answers and letting something go, turning your back on something like, you know, the truth about a situation, you know, the truth about something. Is it a stab through the heart for some of you? It will, because this is something that you could have thought would spend a long time in your life. Like God, your higher source, your higher power is trying to present you with bigger, better, more stable opportunities. You have to stop doing something that's not working for you. For some of you, this is you looking the part, but not doing the work. Next three weeks are very crucial. Next, how many days? The next 17 days, crucial. All right? Really pay attention to the signs, the synchronicities, to your dreams, to the downloads you're receiving, to the messages you're receiving through others, and, and how it's going to play out in your life in the next 17 days to three weeks. All right. Um, there, this is a rough patch, but this rough, rough patch is leading you to stability. Understand you have everything you need. So I feel like you need to be grateful at this time. All right. So this is the part cancer where you're not looking at what it is that you're lacking in this moment. Not dwelling on what's gone wrong, but what's going to go good, how you have the tools to, to push this thing forward or to make this thing happen. That slow and steady wins the right race. OK, um, there may be a need to not move so quickly. Slow down. Slow down. Control your emotions about things over the next three weeks. Don't don't get in a tizzy or an uproar over the things that people say that may piss you off. All right. It's an unnecessary stress. Like, I feel like you're, you're, you're moving through and you're doing just fine. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles, the magician and the, like, like significant change in the next. Listen, so there's th that's what it is. There's three weeks that are going to come. So it, it could start within the next 17 days, cancer. Um. And there's three weeks of like a struggle, but there's no need to worry because you're making it through all of this or, or <sighs> you have everything that you need. This is why you're being urged to be grateful for what you do have, not mourning what you don't have or what has not come yet. That's not your focus. Your focus is gratitude, being grateful for what it is that you have, what it is that you've been able to maintain, what it is that you've been working on that's been stable for you, all right? And being appreciative of the fact that you have everything you need to make it through. It's just three weeks, and then I feel like there's smooth sailing after that, okay? Um, some of you may be concerned about one thing that you're lacking, and you're overlooking... Or there's some bad, I'm telling there's something that's off balance, Cancer. Something around you, within you, the, the way that you're doing something, or the people that you're dealing with, the situations, or or something may look like it's perfect for you and it's still not hitting the mark, Cancer. That's because it's not. Something only looks good. That I just heard it looks good on paper. I feel like if you show gratitude. You're going to, and you know what? I'm telling you in the next 17 days, and, I, and it has something to do with the moon phase that we're in right now as we move forward, Cancer. The tower. Look at this. I'm telling you, there's a breakthrough that is going to be experienced. You are going to have to control your emotions, okay? If you're finding things difficult, if you're finding people intolerable, if, you're, if you feel like your financial situation is off kilter some type of way, it is not. You're going to realize whatever it is that's been lacking. All right. Once you discover this missing piece, because there is a missing piece that from the stability, whatever the stability is that you're trying to create, maintain. All right. Which because some of you are trying to create this stability and some of you are trying to uh, maintain it. All right. This can be a relationship. This can be a friendship. This can be a job. This can be buying or purchasing a home. All right. Whatever you have to look at it, whatever it is, the missing puzzle piece is going to be revealed to you. All right. 
when is this tower taking place for cancer? Like, I really feel like there's a breakthrough. Like, something's been slow. Something, the progress on something has been slow. And I feel like there's always been a piece missing. All right? And why am I saying this? Because the threes are standing out to me. And for some reason, it, it, four, the, the fourth piece is missing. It's just that simple. Ten of Wands. So if you've been struggling, if, if this is mentally, emotionally, financially, whatever it is that you're worrying about. Something's moving slow. Something's stagnant to you. There's a breakthrough. Three weeks. Those three of pentacles and the ten of page of swords. Reevaluate the way you've been working on something or the things that you've been considering. Reevaluate the way that you've been doing something thus far. It's the emotion. It's the emotion, Cancer. Your emotions are off balance. And this is why something's not happening for you. Look at this. The Ten of Cups. The Nine of Wands. Death. You have to stabilize those emotions. Embrace where you are right now. Turbulent emotions. Up and down. Up and down emotion. It's given bipolar depression almost. Um... Anger, but the emotions are not under control. Your emotions may be low vibrational right now. Bring those emotions. You got You got to balance out those emotions. That it has to change to gratitude. Be grateful for where you are. You are not suffering as much as you could be. And whatever this situation is, y'all, whatever this situation is, you're not suffering. You're fine. Look at this: the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress. You are fine. Let this be your reminder that you are fine. What you want will come to you in due time. There is a breakthrough. The next three weeks may be rough, Cancer. And then after that, it's smooth sailing. All right? Tell me more about the Six of Swords for Cancer. You're mourning something. You're mourning the loss of something. But I feel like you haven't lost it yet. It's not, all is not lost. This gives me a sense of mourning for three weeks or I don't know. There's something. There's something about feeling as if you, there's something missing. Something's not whole to you. And then it all comes together. Tell me more about uh, the Six of Swords. The seven of cups. Yeah, the emotions are all over. The, it's confusion. The ace of wands and the three of cups. Celebration. All right. So what did I tell you? Show gratitude. Be happy for where you are and what it is that you have right now in this moment. All right. And be happy for the future because you really don't truly know what that looks like. You really truly don't know what that looks like. But be happy. Be grateful for the unknown. Something huge is coming in here. There's something really big that's going to be fruitful, that's going to multiply, that's going to grow, is going to be beautiful here. But you have to first show gratitude. Speak into existence who you truly are. There's no longer a need to look the part. See, because some of y'all been faking it. You like, I'm going to fake it till I make it. So I'm going to look the part. I'm going to walk the part. I'm going to talk the part. You got to feel the part. You got to be the part on the inside too, baby. Don't just fake smile. Really smile. Don't just say, I'm happy. And you're really not. Really be happy. Think about all the shit that you have to be grateful for. There's food on the table. You got lights. You got gas. You got some place to lay your head. 
It may not be for some of y'all where you want to lay your head, but you got some place to lay your head. You may not have the job you want to have. You may not have the position you want to have. But you're able to pay your bills. Some of y'all may not have much money left over after you pay your bills, but guess what? You were able to pay them. Ain't nobody coming to take your car. Ain't nobody coming to evict you out your apartment. Ain't nobody coming to put you at your house. You may not have been able to fill your cabinets up with groceries, but hey, you got enough food to make it to the next time you get paid. You may not be able to buy lunch, you go eat out at work or whatever, but guess what? You can go in there and make you a sandwich and carry it on to work with you. And you ate the day. It's gratitude. There's a need to show gratitude in this time, Cancer, because shit could have been a lot worse. Shit could have been a lot worse. And I'm telling you, you being grateful and reevaluating the things that you feel like you lack. And it's saying to the people that you may be dealing with or the people who have you feeling like you're not good enough or that where you are in life, wherever you're striving to get to. Understand that a lot of them are struggling in that spot, in that space. You're fine. I feel like you're fine. I feel like you're doing well, okay? Um, it's saying choose to be healed. Choose to be balanced in your emotions. Do some meditating. Do some praying, all right? Do some affirmations. Do some journaling. Whatever it is that you need to do. Because trust me, you have every reason to celebrate even though you don't see it right now. Even though you do not see it right now. Let's see here. You show me what's coming in for cancer. Because there's a celebratory moment here. I don't want to shuffle them the wrong way. What's the three of cups? I feel like there's celebration. Happiness. The king of cups. You got the King of Cups twice, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. Yeah. Oh, Cancer, you know what this is? You came a long way. You've come a long way. Don't be deceived by this world. Don't be deceived. Don't be upset about where you haven't made it to yet. Be grateful for where you came from. And trust me, it's going to speed up you get into where you're going. Be grateful for where you came from. Some of you may be mourning where you haven't made it yet. But if you want to make it there, you're going to have to be grateful for where you came from. The second you start being grateful for what you've made it through and what you come from. Don't be deceived into thinking where you are isn't good enough. And for those of you who say, Tony, well, my life went, has gone downhill. My life, my life is going downhill. You know what? But you're getting back up. You get back up. Be grateful. But having the energy and, and know-how and the willpower to get back up from where you fail from. Fail to, rather. You, you, you're able to get back up. You're getting back up. You're moving forward. You're working towards your forward. And be grateful to God that you have the tools and the ability to come out of a dark time and a dark place, Cancer. When you do that, the shift is amazing. The shift will naturally begin to take place. The signs and synchronicities are going to lead you to where you need to go. All right. Be mindful of the signs and the synchronicities that are coming in. If you're sitting in a place of mourning, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. Look at this. If you are acknowledging 
the loss. Because see, the loss has already happened. And the loss is the past. And now here you are needing to move forward from where you've lost. But a lot of you are staying stuck in the lost place. Come out of that. Look at this. It's literally saying you need to make this breakthrough here. Some of you may be associated with people who are still mourning the loss. Therefore, keeping you energetically stuck. Tell them, motherfuckers, I don't want to talk about the past no more. I don't want to talk about where I, what I lost and, 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 and where I come from. What happened back then. I want to live in the moment and enjoy uh, and embrace where I am right now. Yeah, it might be much to you. It might not be much to you. But it's a long ways from where I was yesterday, where I was last week, where I was last year. Yeah, I may have fall, fell a little bit. I, I took a hard fall. Yeah, I may have took a hard ass fall. And I may have scraped up my knees, but they going to heal up. They healing up. They healing up. I'm walking. I ain't really experiencing no pain. The pain is going away. It's getting better and it's getting easier every day. I'm healing. I'm whole. I'm better. I'm still able to do this and I'm still able to do that. And I'm grateful for that. Yeah. That's the gratitude, Cancer. The next 17 days, yeah, might be rough for you. Look at this. It's a decision. You have to make the decision. Yeah. This is something about not pretending to be the part. Not doing things for show. Doing shit for you. This is all about you. Yeah. To truly. Baby, please. It's a decision. It's a decision. You. This is a decision, baby. This is a big decision here. And it's got a big end result for you. Because you got the Ace of Pentacles twice. Justice, the two of wands, choosing to be balanced. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. I feel like someone's locking you in. Trust me. Things may feel up and down. Relationships may feel up and down. Um... You may start to recognize that some people just truly don't have love for you. That some people just don't truly care about you the way that you care about them. That may, that may be the way you feel. You may feel like you're not in alignment or you're not where you're supposed to be. Don't and you it, it may don't it may start to consume you. Don't let it. Don't let it. You're gonna be fine. You're going to be fine. Tell me uh, about the four of cups and the high priestess for cancer. Uh, yeah, there's a change here. Moving forward, three of wands twice. You're moving forward. I'm telling y'all, like the next three weeks, you're going to have to be happy for where you, you know, where you've made it so far. Show gratitude. Something's ending for you. So for some of you, it could be like, Tony, I'm already going through this. Well, give it about another three, 17 in the next 17 days, three weeks up to three weeks, like things are going to start changing. They could start changing before that. It could start changing within these three weeks. It could be changing now as I'm speaking. But understand that there's positive changes. Look at this, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, and the Two of Swords. You may not see it coming. You may feel like you're still trying to overcome something, heal from something, all right? But you're, you're okay, baby. It's almost over, all right? Keep the faith. Listen to your ancestors, your angel guides, God's source energy. Go ahead and make sure you're praying that you're staying um, grounded, stable, grateful, and watch the growth boo. Uh, this is where I'm leaving this off at, Cancer. If you enjoyed the message, give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, babies, bye-bye.